Hey, Frag fan, welcome to another video from Proverbs 27, 9 Fragrances. This time we're going to be looking at a unheralded fragrance from the house of Dior, and it is Dune. Um, and I say unheralded, meaning that it's not a popular fragrance um, in 2022. Uh, it is still around. Um, and it was a moderate success when it came out in 1997. It does have a cult following. And um, so, honestly, we picked it up uh, because of our interest in the movie Dune. And we knew that this wasn't associated with uh, the movie, but we just felt like it was kind of cool. And Dior is one of my favorite houses. And so, decided to pick up dune pour on and just check kind of check it out um it is a fragrance that is based around the note of fig it uses fig leaf it uses the fig tree bark oddly doesn't mention the fig fruit and that makes kind of sense because i really don't smell a fig type of um you know scent profile there so um it is a, a green and herbaceous type of fragrance, which is maybe why it's not hugely successful and popular uh, anymore because green fragrances are a little, are, you know, a little less popular today than they used to be in the 80s. I know Olivier Cresp, and uh, there was another, um, I think Jean-Pierre Bethuart uh, perfumed this. Of course, Olivier Cresp is super famous for, did almost the entire Mercedes-Benz line. He did, um, oh gosh, things more popular than that that have slipped my mind at the time. Um, and of course, then also being from the house of Christian Dior, uh, you know this is, it's high quality. Looking at the bottle, the bottle is a, it's a nice bottle design. You can kind of see the curves in the glass. It's not symmetric front to back. Um, you've got an indention here. It's got a concave, you know, kind of bulge here. <clears throat> kind of swoops in on the shoulders here. Uh, if you can kind of see that, nice thick glass. Dior bottles are always nice. The lid is trash. You cannot hold it by the lid. It clicks into place, but that is by far the cheapest Dior lid I have ever seen. Just thin plastic, and it's so awkward because it's just a, you know, a half circle. It's not very big. It's hard to grasp. I hate the lid, the cap. Um, the atomizer, let's check it out compared to, okay, yeah, classic Dior atomizer, you know, control the spray, puts out a nice blast. All right, and on the opening, <clears throat> I'm sure this is over toilette concentration because there's a, a lot of alcohol on it. You know what, don't even say. Oh, yeah, there's some writing there, it's just... Yeah, eau de toilette. Um, so in the opening, you get a blast of just fresh green herbaceousness. Um, it smells clean. It smells woodsy. Um, top notes is fig leaf, cassis, sage, and basil and so that's you know you can imagine from those top notes instead of being heavy on citruses it's just heavy on uh, green herbaceousness so it, it's it is very green it is very herbal the sage and the basil are there cassis is a leaf fig leaf is the other top note and it just smells very very green Mid notes is fig wood bark, rose, and mignonette. 
uh, mignonette, however you say that. Um, and I'm not familiar with that note. I know it's a flower. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't really tell me what mignonette. Very sweet smelling and pleasant Mediterranean uh, flower with violet like and fruity nuances. Okay, so that makes sense because I was kind of detecting what I thought was a violet note. If you're familiar with Dior's Fahrenheit, you know that petroleum note. It is here in Dune, but it is so toned down that it, it doesn't smell like Fahrenheit. But knowing, knowing what that is in the background, immediately it kind of stuck out as, okay, yeah, that, that's kind of that very toned down version of Dior's Fahrenheit note, the petroleum note. It's very low key, which I like because I don't like the heavy petroleum note in Fahrenheit. Um, of the Fahrenheit line, Aqua and Perfume are the only ones that I kind of like. The, the regular Eau de Toilette, and especially the original, back when it was super strong, not my cup of tea. Don't, I don't like it when I spill gasoline on my hands and I don't like spraying it on my cell for my clothes. But this does not turn, turn that way. It, it's, you can pick it up because you know it's there and it's playing, it's playing underneath all the greenness. Now, sandalwood, cedar, tonka, and vanilla is the base. And I wish that was amped up. I wish, honestly, I wish, because I've got the dry down on my left hand, and it does dry down nicely, but by the time it dries down, it's so faint that it's it's hard to smell. Now, it smells really, it smells a lot better in the dry down. Once the, that herbal greenness has faded down a little bit, and you kind of get that rose, and you kind of, you start to get that sandalwood, that creaminess, and that cedar, and tonka, and vanilla bean, it smells smells really nice it's just super faint so i'm going to introduce a star rating system today for this video we're going to go on four p's that is projection meaning how much it pops off of your skin how far away people can smell it performance meaning how long it lasts throughout the day price of course you know what that means and then the perfume itself and that would be the fragrance so those are our four P's, and we're going to go uh, one through five. Um, on projection, I'm going to give this fragrance a two. Um, when you spray it on, depending on how heavy you spray, the first blast, the first 15 to 20 seconds, it projects really nice. But as soon as that alcohol dissipates it's it's really it's really kind of weak so if three is the middle it, it's it's just a little weaker than a, an average so uh, i'm going to give it a two there um performance wise how long it lasts i sprayed this on let me think five hours ago and it's just barely hanging on. And so performance wise, I'm going to give it a one. It, it's really, to me, it's really weak. Price wise, um, I think it's, I think it's the middle of the pack. It's high quality. It's a Dior fragrance. Um, it's unique. So I like that. Uh, maybe we could come up with another P word for uniqueness. Um, so price wise, I'm giving it a three. I don't think it's overpriced. I don't think it's underpriced. Um, I think I paid, just want to smell it again. I think I paid like somewhere around 60 bucks for this. It was a tester bottle. Um, and then the perfume itself, the perfume itself, it smells good. It really does. It's not great it's not gonna knock your socks off but it sure is not bad i've like again fahrenheit is probably my least favorite 
Dior men's fragrance that I've smelled and people love it. So, um, I tell you what it sort of reminds me of is this one from Guerlain, from Guerlain, Guerlain, uh, Pour Homme. Um, it's just not as good. So, the Guerlain Pour Homme, is, it's that green, you know, um, very green masculine scent, but they just do it better. So, um, I'm going to call it average. I'm going to say it's a three. And that gives us uh, 10, 10 points, four categories. So we're going to call this fragrance a 2.5. So 2.5 out of five, um, which is just dead on average. Um, you may love it or you may hate it. And, and I think it's scored right where it ought to be, right there in the dead center. Um, it is masculine. It is very well crafted, very well blended. I think some things could have been turned up, turned, you know, um, I might would have turned the bass notes up if you could, you know, and make that really stand out more in the full dry down. Uh, give it a little more longevity, a little more, uh, probably even projection. If you turn up that cedar note, especially, I think that would have fit well with the green top notes. If you'd have turned that up quite a bit, you know, turned the cedar note up to 11, maybe. And, um, but just increase the bass all the way around. I need more sandalwood, more tonka, more vanilla, something that's going to you know, stick around and make this instead of a four hour scent, you know, a six to seven hour scent. So that is Dune from the House of Dior. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that video. If so, please hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And until we see you down the road, we say God bless. Frag on, frag fam.